children in the last class uh, we have seen the parts of the leaf what are the parts of the leaf leaf base okay petiole lamina midrib veins veins these are the parts of a leaf leaf base petiole lamina midrib veins veinlets okay, today we are going to see venation okay venation if you observe the leaf okay if you observe the leaf okay thin line like structures spread over the leaf okay we are seeing that thin line like structures spread over the lamina of the leaf okay this thin line like structures are called the veins okay thin line like structures on the lamina of the leaf is called are called the veins okay lamina means the flat surface of the leaf lamina means the flat surface of the leaf this lamina consists midrib veins veins the flat surface of the leaf is called the lamina it consists midrib veins veinlets Okay, what is venation means to uh, to know about the uh, to know the venation we must uh, do an activity. So okay, for that take one leaf and a white paper. Okay, place the leaf place the leaf under the white paper. Okay, now. Uh, place the pencil the flat flat and rub on the paper to know the venation take a leaf place the leaf under the white paper now place the tip of the pencil flat and rub it on the paper you will get the impression of the leaf okay now we get the impression of the leaf okay the lines on the leaf are called the lines on the leaf are called veins okay the long line present at the middle of the lamina is called the midrib the long line in the middle of the lamina is called the midrib the branches arising from the midrib is called the veins the branches arising from the midrib are called the veins and even finer divisions okay from the veins are called the veinlets okay you got the impression of the leaf on the paper now now so the on the paper the long vein present on the lamina of a leaf is called the midrib the branches arising from the uh, midrib are called the veins and uh, very fine divisions from the veins are called the veinlets so how can we define venation the arrangement of veins on the leaf on the lamina of the leaf are called the is called the venation the arrangement of veins in the lamina of a leaf is called the venation see here veins are arranged no the arrangement of veins 
on the lamina of a leaf is called the venation. Okay. This venation is of two types. Reticulate venation. Parallel venation. Venation is of two types. Reticulate venation. Parallel venation. Okay. If the uh, if the design is like net, okay, uh, from the both the sides of the midrib, that venation is called the reticulate venation. If the design is like net, okay, on the, from the both sides of the midrib, then it is said to be reticulate venation. If the veins are parallel to one another, it is said to be parallel venation. What is reticulate venation? If the design is like uh, web or net. Okay. On the, both the sides of the midrib, it is said to be reticulate venation. If the veins are parallel to one another, it is said to be parallel venation. Okay. Reticulate venation has another name that is web-like venation. What is reticulate venation? If the design is like net on both the sides of the midrib, it is said to be web-like venation or reticulate venation. If the veins are parallel to each other, then it is said to be parallel venation. Okay. Plants with taproot system will have the reticulate venation. Tap root system means it is having main root at the center and it has ha and side roots are arising on that. Okay, that main root is called the tap root system. Okay, uh, plants with fibrous root system will have the leaves of parallel venation. Plants with fibrous root system will have the leaves of parallel venation. Plants with tap root system will have the leaves of reticulate venation. Okay. Uh, tap root system means it is having one main root and side roots are arising from it. Fibrous root system means all the roots are similar. There is no main root and small, they are like small hairy like roots. Okay. That root system is called the fibrous root system. Plants with the tap root system will have the leaves of reticulate venation. Plants with fibrous root system will have the uh, leaves of parallel venation. This venation acts as a um, skeleton, skeleton of the leaf and it gives shape and support to the leaf. Okay. Uh, give me some examples of reticulate venation, reticulate venation mango. Mango leaf, mango leaf is having the reticulate venation. Banyan tree, banyan leaves. Banyan leaves also having the reticulate venation. Okay. And um, give me the examples of parallel venation. Coconut. <coughs> Coconut leaves is having parallel venation. Banana. If you see the banana leaf, that veins are parallel, parallel to one another. Okay. So, it comes under parallel venation. Okay. These are mango, banyan tree. Okay. Comes under the reticulate venation. Coconut, banana comes under the parallel venation. In these leaves, veins are parallel to each other. In these leaves, uh, we can see the net like Okay, uh, net like design on either side of the midrib, so they comes under the reticulate venation. What is venation? Venation means the arrangement of veins on the lamina of your leaf is called the venation. This venation is of two types. Okay, uh, reticulate venation, parallel venation. Okay, plants with the tap root system will have the leaves of reticulate venation. Plants with the fibrous root system will have the leaves of parallel venation. Okay.
ओके स्टमेटा ऑब्जर्वेशन ओके व्हाट इज स्टमेटा मींस टेक ए फ्लैशी लीफ टेक ए फ्लैशी लीफ एंड पील द आउटर लेयर ऑन इट ओके दन मैं तो ना आउटर लेयर में तीस वेंडी एंड ना ओ प्लेस द लीफ ऑन इस लाइफ पुट ए वाटर ड्रॉप ऑन इट एंड ऑब्जर्व इट ऑन बाय यूजिंग द माइक्रोस्कोप ओके एंड ट्राई टू फाइंड द बीन शेप्ड पार्ट्स ओके द बीन शेप्ड पार्ट्स इन द लीफ इस कॉल्ड द गार्सेल्स ओके द ओपनिंग इन बिटवीन द गार्सेल्स इस कॉल्ड द स्टमेटा ओके take a fleshy um, fleshy leaf and peel the outer layer on it now place the leaf on a slide okay and put water drop on it and observe it under the microscope okay and try to find some bean shaped parts okay uh, you will find the bean shaped parts the bean shaped parts are called the garcels the bean shaped parts in the leaf are called the garcels the opening in between the garcels is called the stomata 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 acts as a nose stomata acts as a nose and it helps in the exchange of gases between the plants and atmosphere okay in the plants stomata helps to exchange gases between the um, plants and atmosphere okay thank you